Today I'm going back and taking a look at the COG gear, another character that has had several changes made recently. Currently this is Season 4. I'm going to be going over his ability, best card setups for Horde and Escape, how you should buy his perks. Third off we have his ultimate ability which is the Team Revive. So when you use this you will instantly revive any player that is down. They will get up exactly where they went down, or where they currently are. Passive ability, he gets health regeneration, but he also provides health regeneration to any ally within 10 meters. Now we'll be doing a follow-up video right after this, showing exactly what 10 meters is. Because a lot of these cards are for 10 meters or 5 meters, and I'm going to show you what 10 meters is, and you can see the distance there, and you'll know that 5 meters is directly half of that. So he actually has, his new card is really good. I know uh, a couple of people have been asking me what I think of this card. Yeah, I, I do like this card. 10 meters is a nice little distance. And since you generally have people posted up in close proximity and he's playing in the back, usually with a try shot. I mean, you can get a uh, few revives a game with this card. And it's really nice. So also just to note how this card works. You can kill an enemy across the map as long as the player that is down is within the meters that for your current level of the card, they will instantly get up. You don't have to kill an enemy near them, they just have to be in proximity to you. This is, uh, by the way, for my horde setup. Now, dodge I like too. I like to make my cog gear kind of tanky. So I like the 32 ballistic damage resistance beyond 5 meters, so pretty much not shooting point blank. Um, anyone that's uh, past barrier range, I'm getting ballistic damage resistance. Then I also have perfect condition, so I'm getting additional damage resistance when at max health, or actually above 50% health. So when I am above 50% health, and the enemy is shooting with me from ballistic damage, which is the most common damage, is over 5 meters away from me, I am actually getting 64 damage resistance. And if I have stem, I'm also getting 64 damage resistance while I have stem. So I am also really like the helpful headshots. Not only does it provide me stem, but it also provides allies within 10 meters stem. Generally, you'll have one or two players posting up near a COG gear to get uh, the stem bonus and the health regeneration bonus. Now his fifth card, uh, I think there's a few potentials. And I don't even think you really need to be this tanky, but he is the support role, and I do like playing him uh, with the perfect condition as a support role. But as a fifth card, we do have Get Up, which is nice. It gives you, and it gives anybody you revived, 80% stim. Now, for Horde, I do like Get Up a lot more than I like Overdoing It. Um, although Overdoing It is nice. Um, you also have the Grenade Recharge, but if you're buying the Tri Shot, you're probably not going to be getting that many grenade kills. If you're using your Lancer a lot, then actually using like the Lancer and the Grenade Recharge uh, card might not be a bad combo. Because you'll be downing a lot of enemies and then you can occasionally toss a frag and get back 2 minutes plus off uh, your next ability. Also if you're using the Lancer a lot, another potential card and definite card for your 5th should be the Custom Lancer. Uh, the Lancer GL, he gets the bonus on that too. Another card that's good for Horde is the Team Repair. I really wouldn't go with the Grenade Pouch, the other new card. I mean, you could keep getting abilities, but um, then you playing in a game where you think everybody is going down. Um, so, I don't know. They are beginner card, but lower level cards too, or easier cards. So if you're new, just starting off with him, yeah, it's not bad, but on his high end, no. I would not run that. Healing Bounty, already, um, he, he's tanky with stem. You don't need Healing Bounty. 
Razor Edge, you can become a complete tank and uh, a lot more resistance against the claws. But I feel like all you need is dodge and perfect condition just makes you even more tanky. Making it very easy to take opening sniper shots in the beginning, especially if you got getting some stim. And once you start to get red, just know your limit. And when you get to like that uh, half red two-pointed, then uh, get in cover. So you can be aggressive with your try shot or your lancer or whatever weapon you're using. And you can stay safe. So I really like that setup for Horde. As far as escape goes, I like intervention even more because you're generally in close quarters. And uh, sometimes you get a lot of back-to-back -back meleeing, group meleeing. Somebody goes down instantly back up if you got that kill. Dodge is really good. Helpful headshots is really good. I still would run uh, actually these four, but for my fifth, I probably would run Overdoing It or the Lancer card. Overdoing It is really nice, especially uh, if somebody goes down at the end trying to get to the door. If you do get a little bit pressed for time, they get healing regeneration and damage resistance for 11 seconds which is generally enough for them to make a good solid run. And if there's a Lancer on the board and you're grabbing that, then overall you'd be doing 60% extra damage. So, would be running these four cards and either overdoing it or the custom Lancer for escape on uh, probably every map. And as far as perks go, the damage and crit, I just did a testing, I'll uh, post that video too. It seems that critical damage and damage does the exact same damage for headshots. So I would recommend the first couple perks putting into damage. He's already so tanky, really don't gotta mess with anything else. I mean really late game if there's money to burn. But up until like wave... 35 40 you should really just be focusing on his damage and crit um, depending on how many headshots you're landing should depend on whether you're splitting it 50 50 or going a little bit higher on your buying on the damage uh, versus your crit yeah so up all that and uh, then if you got money to burn you can spend a little on the other two but I would definitely go for the damage, personally go for the damage. I split my 50-50 because I land a lot of headshots. I use the Lancer and uh, get the try shot and yeah, I'm constantly in stem more than I'll, I'll way more than I'm not. So I like splitting my 50-50, but if you're constantly not in stem, go a little bit higher on the damage. And that is the Cog Year Postseason 4. I hope that helps.